Hello and welcome back to our R course. This video deals with uh, some examples for package management shown in RStudio. So let's go to RStudio now. And the first step of package management is to set the um, repository or repositories um, from which you want to um, download and install or update your packages. After calling uh, set repositories, the set repository function, um, you will get a list of the currently available repositories and the chosen repository is symbolized by a plus symbol. So, for example, here uh, only <coughs> the CRAN repository is chosen. But now we want to um, choose um, besides CRAN also the Bioconductor software repository. So here we set um, a 1 for CRAN because we want to keep it and um, um, the 2 for the Bioconductor software repository. And after calling it again we see that now um, both are chosen and um, if we just um, <coughs> uh, enter uh, a empty line that then we will uh, keep this selection. Um, when you use the argument graphics um, of set repositories and set it to true then um, a, a small menu will pop up and here you can set the uh, repository graphically uh, but we want to keep CRAN and Bioconductor software here. After setting um, your repositories uh, you want uh, maybe to choose the um, uh, the mirror of the CRAN repository um, and to get the list of all available CRAN mirrors for example, you can use the get CRAN mirrors function and since this is uh, this function gives a huge output we have selected some uh, lines and columns from from that and and see that there are um, also some uh, CRAN mirrors from Germany. Um, well, when we then want to, to choose a specific CRAN mirror, then we can use the choose uh, CRAN mirror function, uh, which also has a, a parameter uh, where the selection via a pop-up menu is possible and uh, since we want to have a, a mirror in our region uh, we choose the uh, CRAN mirror which is located in Münster. The same is possible for, uh, for Bioconductor. Uh, also here a graphical selection is possible and here, for example, uh, we can choose uh, the Göttingen mirror of Bioconductor. But also here, a not graphical selection would be possible um, via the specific integer number of the Göttingen um, repository. Well, if you want to know which packages are currently installed, um, then for this you can use the install packages function. Um, this function gives a lot of output and to get um, only some uh, interesting um, columns you can, for example, um, choose the column package version license and, um, to get the package name and um, 
the information of um, of the version and license of um, the packages, and then you will good uh, get uh, some output like that. Um, if you want to know how many uh, packages are currently installed, then you can use the uh, number of rows function to get this information, and with this you would get the uh, the list of the uh, names of the installed packages. Well, um, the function available packages gives you all packages that are currently available on the currently selected uh, repositories. So this is a huge number of um, many thousands uh, of packages. So maybe uh, you want to search for a specific package uh, in this output and for this we store it uh, in an object and then we, uh, we use this object and the grab function to search um, for package names containing the character string imma uh, because maybe we want to uh, install the, the limma package. An alternative to available packages is the new packages function. Um, it gives you only the available packages um, at the currently selected repositories which are not installed on your computer. Um, this may be an advantage, but uh, the disadvantage is that this function gives you only the package names. Also, uh, this um, the output of this function um, can be searched via uh, grab, as can be seen here, and also here we we get um, some search results. Um, to install a package, uh, we use the install packages function, as shown here, and here we install the lima package with all dependencies. Um, with old packages, the list of outdated packages um, is, uh, is given and this is also the list of packages that would be updated um, if I would use the update package uh, packages function but I don't want to do this uh, now because it would take maybe too long. To remove a package, um, one can use the remove packages function. So uh, Lima, uh, the function that we have uh, installed um, a few moments ago, now can be removed. And um, with with install packages we can install it again. Um, yes, after reinstalling it we can attach Lima to the R workspace and with these um, with these arguments set to true uh, library gives us some output, but because usually library gives no output. And when we do, um, when we call library again to attach uh, Lima again uh, to the um, to the workspace, then we get the warning message that Lima is already present in search and um, we can confirm this by calling search and now we see that uh, Lima has, uh, has been attached to the um, to the R workspace. Well, um, all this can be, uh, of course, all these functions can be used in the console to 
uh, install, update, uh, or remove packages. But with RStudio, with, we have a, a comfortable alternative because here in this sub window, we have um, a tab that is called packages. And here we see um, the list of the 162 packages that are currently installed including its, um, its version number and a brief description. Um, we can install also packages from here just by uh, pressing on install and the um, and for the selected repositories uh, we can type in here the name of the package that we want to install and then for example if we call again uh, lima then lima will be installed via the install packages function so um, all the other um, um, many uh, functions um, that we can uh, that that R provides for package management can be used in R Studio via the graphical user interface. For example, the update function, um, which will update the outdated packages, or we can remove packages from our our installation via this uh, uh, these buttons with selecting a package here we um, call the library function and with deselecting it um, we detach it from the um, our workspace so this is very comfortable well, after um, attaching um, Lima to our um, to our workspace, um, we can uh, call its help pages um, to get help. So, for example, here we have the general help page of Lima here. We have the help page for this uh, specific for a specific function of Lima, normalized between arrays, and with this we will get uh, the link to uh, Lima's um, package vignette. Let's go back to our slides. And now we can say that um, we have all the skills to solve exercise 1.1 for this uh, our course.